Yesterday I did a lesson that I posted about before all around proverbs. We talk about what a proverb is, look through a few examples and I challenge my pupils to create their own proverbs by giving them the beginning of some well-known proverbs. And I've just got to share some of the examples my year twos came up with because they are absolutely hilarious. When the going gets tough, watch a YouTube video on it. <laughs> Now I can't even get mad at this one because it is just bang on advice. I've learned so much from watching YouTube videos. That is just spot on. A picture is worth lots of money. <laughs> I wish given the amount of pictures that I'm given, especially during wet play lunch, and I've yet to make a single penny from them. There's no such thing as a unicorn. That may well be true, but don't ruin my dreams. Now you've heard of there's no place like home, but what about this one? There's no place like McDonald's. There we have it, that child trying to live that influencer life from an early age. And McDonald's, if you are watching, once you get sick of that I'm loving it slogan, there's your next one. You can thank us later. No man is smart. Straight up burn from one of the girls in the classroom. This is the same girl that thinks all boys are smelly, stinky and just full of germs. Never look a gift horse in June. <laughs> Why June? Who knows? We're just going to have to use our imaginations. But after reading that, are you going to look a gift horse in June? I'll pass, thank you. A picture is worth a look. <laughs> it's certainly true, unless it's Baza share another thing in the WhatsApp group. No, stay away from those pictures. People who live in glass houses look like they're in a greenhouse. <laughs> well, talk about stating the flipping obvious there. Two wrongs is a bad day, and don't we all know it? The pen is mightier than a device, which is great although they will not have seen the irony in the fact that they've typed that out. When the going gets tough, it gets tough. Just like spelling in this example. <laughs> Fortune favours me. <laughs> Coming from a child whose confidence knows no bounds. But if you were to know the child, I'm not so sure you'd agree. Birds of a feather flock together. <laughs> now I appreciate the rhyme here, but I struggle to see the message in this one. Hope for the best, but I can't find an axe. <laughs> Uh, I think I might have to keep an eye on this child and watch my back. When in Rome, eat pizza. <laughs> Love it. Sound advice. People who live in glass houses can't sleep. <laughs> now, is that down to the heat? Is it down to the lack of curtains? Who knows? Fortune favours people who read. Boom. Nailed it. Love that one. Hope for the best, but be happy. It's simple. It's to the point. I love it. Well played. Well played, that child. And I've got to finish on this one because I feel in the times we're living in, this hits on a different level. This child has nailed it. Are you ready? No man is unloved. I feel like a round of applause. I feel like standing up, just giving a round of applause there. That child's in for star of the week, no doubt.